Welcome to my fifth lesson on logarithms. Here are examples that we will work on. In example one, we're asked to simplify log base six of 36 times x to the fifth power. Do you see the product rule come into play? Log of 36 times x to the fifth becomes a sum of the logs. Log of 36 plus log of x to the fifth. Look at the first term. 36 is 6 squared, and notice that's the base of our log. So let's write 36 as 6 squared. In the second term, we can use the power rule to pull the 5 out in front of the log. We've learned many ways to simplify the first term. I like to think of the log base 6 undoing the base 6 to a power. That leaves the number 2. 2 plus 5 log base 6 of x is our final answer. In example 2, we have log of x times y cubed divided by the square root of z. I'm sure that quotient caught everyone's attention, and the quotient rule is our first step. The quotient rule tells us the log of a fraction is the log of the top minus the log of the bottom. So we get log of xy cubed minus the log of square root z. The product rule applies to the first term. We have log of x plus log of y cubed. Let's leave the second term alone. Just copy it down. In the last step, we use the power rule. Pull those powers out in front of the logs and we're all done. Are we ready for example three? Yay, we get to solve an equation. We see a log minus a log. And you all know that means we can apply the quotient rule. We get log of x squared minus 9 divided by x plus 3. x squared minus 9 factors into x plus 3 times x minus 3, and we see an x plus 3 on the bottom. So the x plus 3s are going to cancel. That leaves us with a much simpler looking equation log of x minus 3 equals to 2. We can either raise both sides to the base 3 or use the log definition. Either method gives us x minus 3 is 3 squared, that's 9, so the answer is 12. Here's example 4. We saw a similar example last time. Before combining the logs, we have to use the power rule to get the 2 out of the way. Bring the 2 inside the log as a power of the x. Now we do have a log plus a log, so the product rule applies. We get log of 4x times x squared, or 4x cubed. By definition, 4x cubed equals the base 2 raised to the 5th power. 2 to the 5th is 32. Dividing by 4, we get x cubed is 8. So 2 is the answer. 
I don't want this lesson to get too long, so let's quit here. We'll save the last two examples for next time. See you then. Bye.